everyone, I'm Julie Waters with Glendale 11, your city connection. Welcome to the 2013 Glendale Glitter and Glow Festival right here in historic downtown Glendale. Joining us right now is our balloon meister, Bob Romaneski. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful. It's a beautiful night out here. How many balloons do we have here tonight? We have 18 balloons this year for the 18th anniversary of our glow. And how many of those 18 years have you been a part of us? I've been here every year. I started with the event when it was the Super Bowl event, and uh, the city of Glendale loved it. They decided to keep doing it, and I'm still here. And that was the Super Bowl back in 1996 when it was yeah. held in Tempe. Yeah. yeah. So what has changed the most over 18 years? The amount of people. It's just a phenomenal event. People love to come out here, and it keeps growing and growing and growing. What do your balloon pilots who come out here every year, what do they tell you about the feel that they get and the response that they get from people? When the pilots come out here, they love it that the people come up and they talk to them and it's just like they've always known each other. The ballooning drops all the barriers and, and so uh, they, they like the atmosphere. They like the fact that they're coming out and showing people their balloons and the people coming up and talking to them and uh, you know, just in wild eye gazement. Right. Tell me about some of the balloons we have here at our, at our 18th festival tonight. We of course have this really cool one over here. You know that one. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm a really cool balloon type of a guy. You know, a couple years ago, they decided to uh, go with some of my special shape, the bees, and we had the butterfly here last year. In a moment, I'm going to be standing up the spider pig. But yeah, the very popular Spider-Man is out here. The, the balloon, we haven't flown it in the air in 10 years, but we bring it out to Glendale every year. The kids love it. They take their pictures. But we also have the witch, Sarah the witch. She's from Tucson. And we have a really, really remarkable balloon out of Albuquerque which is uh, essentially the earth. And every panel was rendered through the computer and inkjetted by uh, photos that were taken from NASA astronauts. So it truly is a photo of the earth. It's really cool. And speaking of photo, Bob, everywhere you turn, somebody is taking a picture. I mean, and they've got fancy, very expensive cameras right down to just smartphones with cameras. That's pretty, uh, that's oh, yeah. pretty phenomenal and a very normal thing these days compared to 18 years ago. You know, they say that the most photographed event is the Rose Bowl Parade, and I can imagine, well imagine why. But you know, we come out here, we got 90,000 people, and every one of them have a cell phone. So if they don't have a very expensive camera, they have their cell phone. And they're taking pictures, they're posting them on social networks, they're sending them to their friends, it's great. Yeah, and it's all good, because it kind of tells people, oh, yeah. come out, if you, if you missed it this year, come out next year. Real quick, let's talk about a crew. Uh, we got some pictures of you a little bit ago. You were out there working it. You've got a full, everybody has a full crew. It doesn't take just two or three people to put a balloon up. You know, it can be done with a small amount. We've got some small balloons out here that with two or three people. We've got some large shapes that take 12. <laughs> Crews are family. They're, uh, they're family, they're people, they're, they're spectators get involved. That's a fun thing. Here we go. Let's do it. But uh, it takes two people to hold the mouth open so that we don't burn it when we're inflating it. It takes a person on the end of a rope to hold it down so that it doesn't come up too fast. And then, of course, we got to get it back in the bag. And these, some of these things weigh 400 pounds. So uh, our crews, you know, we got to take good care of them. They're amazing help. And uh, they do it because they love it. Some of them are pilots. And some of them are just people that come out. They never want to fly. They just want to help you. And some are your own kids, I believe. Well, yeah, I'm very, I'm very proud that... Uh, that this year two of the balloons are piloted by my sons. We have the Arizona flag, the Arizona Superstar balloon, which is an icon, one of the first balloons in Arizona, piloted by my son Aaron. And uh, the Spider-Man is piloted by my son Ryan. So uh, they finally came into the family business. Let's wrap things up. We are, um, we're about halfway through tonight's festival and there's such a neat feeling here in this downtown right now. What is your hope for tonight and for next year with the Glendale Glitter and Glow Festival? You know, the Glendale Glitter and Glow is a spectacular event. It starts in November with the Glendale Glitters and the Spectacular, and it runs through the holiday season. And so it's not just about tonight. It's about a, a big festival that, that people can come out and they can share with their relatives that might only be in town for a weekend. So I really hope that, um, that the public and the city of Glendale will continue to endorse this type of a festival, which I know they want to. They love it. It's, it's a signature event. And uh, I hope that we'll be here 18 years from now and you and I will be talking about the same things. <laughs> that would be great. Bob, thank you so much for your okay. time tonight. I know you got a lot of work to do. you got I a do. balloon here you need to put up. I do. Spider pig. Come All right. See it. Thank you All very right. much. Thank Have you. a good Bye -bye. night. For more information on any of Glendale's special events, go to the city website, glendaleaz.com, and click on the special events page.